Guys, we are back. Hey, it is so great to see you here this afternoon. Now, if you follow this channel, which you should be, you probably already know that I'm a relatively newcomer to Canon. I picked up the EOS R just last year and have really enjoyed it as a good all-around camera for photography and videography. But the EOS R is not a professional camera. It's a great mid-range rig, but it just doesn't have the firepower to take advantage of, or full advantage of Canon's just epic good RF lenses. But Canon has just dropped a bomb that is going to change everything. They just confirmed late last night that the EOS R5 is in development. Now, some of the EOS R5 rumors that I just reported last week have now been confirmed by Canon. This is very exciting news, so let's jump in and break down what Canon has announced about its upcoming ProSpec EOS R5. First and foremost, let's remember that this is a development announcement, guys. All of this means is that Canon has just confirmed that they are working working on the R5. And while they confirmed few specs, much of what the room mill has been speculating about in terms of possible specs has not been confirmed by Canon. Besides, it's common for some of the specs in the development announcement to not actually make it to production models. Okay, let me repeat that. Some of the announcements that came out in the development might not make it to production model. So with all that said, we need to take this all in with a grain of salt. But Holy smokes, if what Canon has confirmed in this announcement ends up being true, this camera is going to rock the photography world. First, let's quickly review what the rumors have focused on regarding specs. We're talking about a 45 megapixel sensor, IBIS uh, up to five stops, 12 frames per second shooting with mechanical shutter, 20 frames per second with silent shutter, dual card slots, hopefully CFA Express, <laughs> 8K video at 30p and 4K at 60p and 120p. Now let's see what the official announcement from Canon has actually confirmed. First, Canon confirmed that the camera will have 8K video. What they do not confirm is what crop this will be and what frame rates will be available. Second, Canon has confirmed that 12 frames per second and 20 frames per second shooting speeds with mechanical and silent shutters. Third, it has confirmed that the EOS R5 will have IBIS, though there's no mention guys of how many stops it might provide. Regardless of how many stops it has, the EOS R5 IBIS system will be the first for Canon. What more, when you pair the EOS R5 IBIS with the stabilization that's available in some of the RF lenses, you'll have the ability to handhold cameras at shutter speeds you never dreamed possible. Canon says as much in their press release, quote, the EOS R5 will be the first Canon camera equipped with IBIS and when used in conjunction with the extremely effective in-lens stabilization, will allow photographers to handhold the camera in light levels not previously imagined. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Next, we have confirmation that the EOS R5 will indeed have dual memory card slots. Canon doesn't say what kind of card slots will accommodate, but I will be shocked if they aren't CF Express. After all, you need ultra fast cards with the specs like 8K and 20 frames per second shooting. The big mission from Canon's announcement is about the sensor. Guys, there's not a word, there's not a peep, nothing that was said about the number of megapixels. Will it be the 45 megapixels that the rumor rails have predicted or will it be more? Canon rumor seems to be pretty set on that it will be the 45. Regardless, to shoot at 8K, the sensor has to have at least 33 megapixels, so we know the sensor will at least meet or exceed that benchmark. What Canon does say about the sensor is this, guys. The camera will feature the newly designed CMOS sensor and new image processor. The combination of the new sensor and the processor is what allows the R5 such blazing fast shooting speeds and the ability to shoot 8K video. And of course, the advantage of 8K video, aside from <laughs> 8K, of course, is that you can downsample to get some truly incredible 4K video and still images. Something else that caught my eye on the EOS R5 announcement was this. The EOS R5 will support automatic transfer of image files from the device to a image.canon cloud platform. Now, this could be a really handy feature for any photographer, but particularly for photographers on assignment for shooting events where they have a ton of images that need to be uploaded quickly. The announcement of Canon also mentions that they'll be releasing a couple extenders and seven new RF lenses this year. The first of which will be the 24105F42 7.1 IS STM and a 100 to 500 F4.5 to 7.1. This is an LIS USM. The RF lineup of lenses is already incredible, and from the sounds of it, 
Canon is going to make it even more epic in the upcoming months. I don't know about you, but this camera sounds completely badass. Honestly, if all this pans out, the EOS R5 won't be a game changer for Canon. It's going to send shockwaves through the entire industry. Nikon, Sony, and other major manufacturers should be quaking in their boots right about now. Sony has long had a stronghold on the mirrorless sector, but with this camera, Canon is basically saying, hey, Wait a minute guys, wait a minute. <laughs> We've got a few tricks up our sleeves and can challenge the best of what Sony has to offer. And frankly, if I were Nikon, I'd be seriously thinking about what that Z8 does and doesn't have. Because if they want to retain their customers, the Z8 is gonna to have to top what that EOS R5 has to offer. Guys, I try not to label many things as game changers, but this camera definitely appears to be just that. Again, this is just a combination of rumors and a development announcement. So we will see it comes out of the upcoming weeks with this camera. We should learn more about the OSR5 in the upcoming weeks um, because Canon has a preview at WPPI later this month, which of course, I'll be there. Until then, let's just bask in the glory of what the OSR5 hopefully will be. Before I let you go, I do want to let you know once again that we have a current giveaway going on right now. We're giving away a DJI Mavic Mini, a Peter McKinnon Nomadic Camera Pack, and a $100 Adorama gift card. Guys, here's what you need to do to enter, and it's quite easy. Step one, like this video. Step two, leave it comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave comments on, the more chances that you have to win. So check out some of our other content and leave some comments. Step three, guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That's all you need to do. For complete details on the giveaway, check out the description below. Well, there you go, guys. Some hot, steamy news on the Canon EOS R5. What do you think about this camera? Does it excite you? What specs about it really push your buttons and makes you excited about this possible upcoming camera? Leave a comment below. So guys, if you found this video to be helpful, hit the like button. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. While you're at it, smash the hell out of that bell so therefore you're notified each and every time that we come out with new videos. So my friends, I'm gonna get back to my grind here for today and you get out there and create your best shot.